Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Maria Muzichuk and Teresa Olsarova. This is the game from European Individual Women's Chess Championship that was played in Belgrade, Serbia in 2013. Maria Muzichuk had white pieces and she started with d4. Teresa Olsarova played d5. Queen Scabit, c6, going for Slav defense or perhaps semi Slav. Knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, bishop to f5, knight to c3, e6, white to move. Maria played knight to h4, attacking the bishop. Is this a good move? Well, this move is played by players like Topalov and Kasparov, so it must be good. Bishop to g6. Can black save the bishop? If bishop goes to g4, then queen to b3 attacking the pawn on b7. After queen to b6, h3. Bishop to h5, g4. Bishop to g6, knight takes bishop. As you can see, white is determined to hunt down black light square bishop. In our game we have bishop to g6, knight takes bishop, h takes on g6, queen to b3 attacking the pawn on b7, queen to c7 defending and note that black queen and black rook are connecting on h2. Maria played g3, h3 is also played in this position, it's a matter of taste. We have g3, knight from b to d7, bishop to g2, bishop to d6, bishop to d2, rook to c8, white to move, perhaps castling king's f comes to mind. Maria played e4, threatening e5, forking the bishop and the knight. e5, c5, attacking the bishop, bishop to f8, e takes on d5, e takes on d4, attacking the knight. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Maria played the best move. d6, attacking the queen sending black queen to the back rank white to move white knight is under attack and white pawn on c5 is under attack so perhaps knight to a4 is suggesting itself do you agree but maria castled kingside allowing pawn takes knight Knight takes on c5, attacking the queen. Well, if d takes on c3, then rook from f to e1 check, king to d8, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, and after c takes on b2, rook from a to d1, and perhaps queen takes on f7 could be next. So we have knight takes on c5, attacking the queen. What is the best move for white? This is the best move. Rook from f to e1, check. King to d8. Queen takes on f7. Queen takes on d6. Bishop to g5. Pinning the knight. Bishop to e7. If d takes on c3, then what is the best move? Is rook from a to d1 the best move? Or there is a better one. There is a better one. Rook to e8, checkmate. So we have bishop to e7. Rook from a to d1, pinning the pawn. Rook to f8, attacking the queen. Queen takes on g6. Knight to e6, attacking the bishop. Knight to e4. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes on e7, check. Queen takes bishop. 
white, played a movement black, resigned. The move is queen takes on e4. Black resigned. Knight is pinned. If rook to e8, then bishop to h3. And what now? Let's say queen to f6, then bishop takes on e6, king to c7, queen takes on d4. And if rook takes on e6, then check. And after king to b8, queen takes rook. What else? If rook from c to d8, attacking the queen, then queen takes queen. And after pawn takes queen, rook takes rook. Rook takes rook, leaving white with an extra piece. That is why Teresa Olsarova resigned in this position. Nicely played game by Maria Muzichuk. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.